Hello, welcome. I'm Hamish Patel from mortgagesonline.co.nz here to talk to you about trading up your home and the various methods to do that um, with the bank's help. So, um, ideal situation when you're buying a bigger home would be for the bank to give you what's called an open ended bridging finance, which basically means that they help you fund the new property purchase and settle on that, move into that, and then give you time to sell your old home. Of course, during that uh, period, when you're trying to sell your home, you're going to have two mortgage payments. The banks can make this a little bit easier by uh, giving you an interest-only option on both mortgages during that time period to manage the cash flow. So basically, it you know, brings the payments right down. Now, of course, uh, if, you, if you're unable to do this, if the bank's not happy with it uh, because you don't have enough income or equity, then there are a couple of other ways you can, you can still do the transition with it you know, and still make it easier on yourself. One way could be that you sell your home with a late settlement date, so two or three months out, okay? Um, and then that gives you time to go shopping and find a home. Now, in this sort of a situation, you can sometimes have a situation, you can sometimes um, end up finding a home that you really like, uh, maybe it's being sold by auction, but the settlement date for the one that you want to buy is a little bit before the one that you've sold, okay? This, you can bridge this gap here, it's called a, this, this type of funding is called a closed end bridging. So if you can, and most banks should be pretty comfortable with this, so if you've got an approval to buy this home subject to the sale of this home, and then you've got an unconditional sale on your home, you can, um, you can ask the bank to give you a, a little brief period there of having both mortgages. Um, so that's, that's a lot easier than open-ended bridging, that's called closed-ended, because you've sold the home and you've got an unconditional uh, sale and purchase, it's just that the date you're getting the money is a little bit later than when you need the money to buy the new one. Okay, so that's a closed-ended bridging. Now, you can, so that's one way of doing it. The other way, of course, is to actually, a little bit riskier, is to go and buy a house, right? Buy a house before you've sold, okay? So you could buy a house with a late settlement date, which then gives you time to sell this one. A little bit riskier because as you get closer to this date, you're really going to have to drop your price, you know, you're going to have to sell this at any cost. So that can affect um, your sale price a bit. So yeah, that, those are the two types of uh, financing that we can do to uh, help you facilitate the move over to the new home. If you need any more information uh, or you'd like to discuss your own scenario, feel free to visit our website and yeah, book an appointment.